one of the things that's that's really clear, and you can see this in just about everything he's written, and that is that mm. um, don't ever talk about thinking mm. without at least some hint that you're also referring to embodiment, you're also referring to feelings, you're also, I mean, this is one of the things about starting with experience. If, if you really let, if you, if you hang on to that idea that you are yeah. explicating experience, you yeah. never let go of the fact that every, yeah. all the explications are partial. Uh -huh. yeah, They're yeah. never going to be finished. They're never going to get it all. What's more, the more you say, the more it feeds back on how you are now and now what you want to say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very good. Right? I, it's, yeah. When students ask you, you know, you're in the middle of a lecture and they, and they say, ah, get, that's it right there. Say that again. Yeah. Uh -huh. You have to say, but, I'm sorry, but it's not written down. I'll, I'll, I can tell you the same point again, mm -hmm. but I would never say it the same way the second time. Right. <laughs> Where we wouldn't admit that maybe we don't have the memory uh, powers. Anymore. No, it's you, you don't think that way. I don't know what the words are I just used. If yeah. somebody were to say to me now, say what you just said to Ed about 10 minutes ago, yeah. it would come out all different. No, it would. Yeah. No, of course, you're right. We don't hold on to the verbal formula as such. Right. No, no, we're, we're really some, we're moving beyond that. And Gene would say beyond that into and down into experience um, and experiencing. Well, that's, the way, that's the way embodiment works. The use of language, the gestures yeah. that you make, yeah. the way you handle your experiencing. All of those things are done without any, quote, knowledge of the structures that you use to do that.